What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at an another ROM review for the Redmi Note 5. Yes, I am finally making a video on the wins. I every day see a comment for at least a Redmi Note 4 or the Redmi Note 5 for a Oxygen OS video but I am kind of sad that I don't actually make videos on this thing because if you don't already know, of course I have paid for this phone. I have to actually retrieve at least 10k from this thing in order to make a profit. Well, that wouldn't be a profit but I have to actually retrieve the cost of this phone but yeah, it's kind of sad that the dev community is kind of poor for this thing. Because of the Redmi Note 5 Pro, this device isn't that well reputed even though it has a Snapdragon 625. But let's just take a look as you can see right now it's running an Oxygen OS port best of the OnePlus 6 Pi and let's just take a look. Well, I posted about this on my Instagram stories couple of days ago. Yes, I do post more stuff over there which I just do some private testing stuff and anything. So if you want to do keep up with smaller stuff and just mods for your Redmi Note 5, do follow me over there and I'm not going to show you any kind of installation video in depth right now. I will show a new friendly guide cause yeah, even though I said I would be making a video soon when it gets stable, the bugs in these things are pretty hefty to fix cause yeah, it's not made from source, it's supported GSI. So yeah, it would take time. I would make a new friendly guide at the end of this video, but let's just take a look around the ROM. So as you can see, Auction OS Pi running completely on the wins. This is my Redmi Note 5, not the Note 5 Pro. As you can see, I have it in black, so don't get confused. But again, it works extremely butter smooth. There are no hiccups and lags at all. This doesn't face a Snapdragon 625 anymore. As you can see, you have a couple limited apps over here. Pretty deep loaded, but if you take a look at the apps, such as for example, phone app. Look how quick that opens. This is not a 625 territory phone anymore. Again, if I want to go to messages app, again, it's extremely quick. Like, let me just close everything. There you go, completely closed. Phone app, look at the performance just mind-blowing even if i just tap the settings app no delay at all this doesn't feel a snapdragon 625 one like oxygen os is just so mind-blowing it's so butter smooth but then again on the left we have the shelf again on the top we have our quick settings panel again it's a completely dark theme because i'm using the colorful preset over here you get pretty much all the toggles which are found in oneplus devices such as reading mode otg gaming mode pretty handy stuff then on the apps, you don't have anything special. You do get OnePlus community and stuff. File manager is completely working, which do need some encryption patches. But let's just go to the settings app. Cause we already pretty much know how Oxygen OS works at this point. But let's go to the display. In the display, you have pretty much everything working. So for example, night mode. You can just completely turn it on and it works. Pretty great. Then you have app screen full screen. As this is not a 5T base, it's a OnePlus 6 base. 5T base would be happening tomorrow or something. I don't know. I wouldn't make fake promises. But yeah, if you have some notch issues, just go ahead over here and add the app. Down over there, you have themes, fonts and every other stuff just completely working. Going down again, apps and notifications, sounds, buttons and gestures. Let's just go to the buttons and gestures, going to the navigations and gestures. You have your normal nav bar. You have the Pixel 3 gestures, which again work extremely fluid. Like there are no lags at all, as you can see. The app just snaps into the system UI and comes back. No hiccups or delays. Even with navigation gestures, it's an amazing touch, like one of the best after iPhone X. Just so for example, if you just swipe up, uh, there was a hiccup, but I mean, that could be fixed. It's just an early port. But yeah, it's pretty smooth. As you can see, you can just quickly jump app like this. You have the back on the left and the right, which is again pretty cool. Going to the security and lock screen, you have fingerprint scanner working over here, which is again amazing when compared to the Redmi Note 4 cause we can't just get that working. But over here on the Redmi Note 5 wins, it's completely working. So for example, uh, tap. There you go, pretty quick. Face unlock is again currently broken, which uh, I don't think it would be fixed. Then again, talking about utilities, you have gaming mode and other stuff, parallel apps, just your normal things from MIUI 2. I mean, it's Chinese. Going to the about phone, as you can see, it's based off the Android Pie. Pretty latest, as you can see, the notch kicks in over here. So yeah, a 5T base would be great to use. Going back, you don't have much to do on the Oxygen OS, as it's pretty close to the stock, which is again great, but it's much faster than the stock, like much, much faster. But then let's just talk about the bugs. So the remaining bugs over here are the camera. Now the camera opens, it pretty much works so like for a few seconds, like you have Google Lens and stuff over there, as you can see, yeah, pretty buggy over there and just crashed. So yeah, it barely keeps up for a few seconds. You can just go to video. You can also record video. You have your night mode, pro mode and stuff. But in camera, yes, you can always use your favorite Gcam from the Pixel 3. It's completely working over here. Then again, another box, if you go to the brightness, the brightness is pretty broken. So for example, on this part, it comes to the complete darkness. Now it comes to the full brightness. Then again, if you want to adjust, you have pretty much all the stages over here, which are just remaining. 
then again the phone doesn't power off so for example if you want to power off the phone you have to actually power off and then go to the recovery to power it off completely the power off just doesn't work also the wi-fi hotspot is again broken just like all the other phones except the redmi note 5 pro and yeah, that's pretty much it for the bugs. Now let's just get to the installation of this thing. So I'm not going to just make a completely noob friendly guide, but pretty much if you have experience in installing ROMs, just go to the recovery for over here, I will be using Orange Fox. So entering the recovery by volume up and the power at the same time. Now the UI won't be the same if you're using the stock to up recovery, but pretty much everything would be. As you can see, we are under the Orange Fox recovery. First of all, go to wipe, advanced wipe, dial wake, system, data, cache, vendor, Swipe to wipe, now you have internal storage. If it's already decrypted, go to install and first of all, install the actual ROM. So that would be the Sirin for wins. I don't know which ROM it is, but it's pretty good. I've used it for several minutes, but it contains the appropriate vendor, which we do need for the auction OS Pi in order to boot. Once the ROM has been installed, let's just go again to the home, go to wipe, advanced wipe, just wipe the system to make the folder completely clear. Go to install, install image, and now select the option OSPI not flashable. You have to just extract the system IMG from it and then just tap the system IMG, select system image, install image. The option OS has been finally installed. Let's just go back to the home again. You have to reboot the recovery once to just activate all the partitions. So reboot recovery. Once you're back into the recovery, just go to install and start installing patches, which would be only two over here. So the first of all, option OSPI patch, add more zips, then the boot fix, swipe to install. And both of the patches now have been installed. So again, go to home, reboot system. There you go. We have the OnePlus logo. Now the system will be successfully booted into one to three minutes, maybe more. And the phone is finally back up. Now let's just complete the setup quickly with just skipping everything. And there you go. That's how you install Auction OS Pi on the Redmi Note 5. Now, I currently do not recommend at all as using this as your daily drive. But if you're just keeping around and if you're keen to just try the OnePlus Oxygen OS, which is extremely blazing fast, this is an awesome ROM to try out. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos on the Redmi Note 5, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will surely do that. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.